next project on Athena is we're going to build deck boxes. In the past year we had uh, Rubbermaid totes sitting here and uh, they were handy for storing things but the uh, UV just destroyed the plastic and they started cracking and falling apart. So we're going to make a fiberglass box that comes down to here and across with the lid and it'll come up to the same height as where the traveler is. I'm going to show you how we build them. Basically I'm going to lay a strip of tape so as a mold release all along the surfaces where the box will connect and then I'm going to lay about four layers of fiberglass down all the way around. And then we'll take some styrofoam and build walls up from that initial base and fiberglass that onto the base and then um, a box custom fitted to all the 60 curbs. Got the other side started. Let's take a look. I'm going to also add some windows. Uh, so there's going to be a cutout in the box for the window which will also act as a sun and rain shield. The starboard side also has vents underneath here for engine, uh, engine room exhaust and uh, two other vents. And so there's going to be a tunnel underneath to allow those um, to vent. So I've built these boxes up with styrofoam and uh, this would be glassed in as part of that initial strip all the way around. Yo -ho -ho. It's nice to have a nice large space on your deck to lay out the fiberglass. One way to make sure you have a straight line Pick a thread and pull it through. Don't step. And it makes a line. Day two of deck boxes. So the fiberglass we put on yesterday is all strong all along the edges. We've made a tunnel with uh, vents underneath and there'll be a window here. Next we put up the walls which will be a, uh, a plug for more fiberglass built out of styrofoam and cardboard and plywood. 
The port side is mostly built. Take a look over here. You'll see some styrofoam and cardboard. Each piece needs to be curved a little bit. So I've got wooden battens that are held on with screws on the outside with spacers to bend the wood, the plywood, the, the styrofoam. We made a male plug mold. And this will be all be covered in fiberglass. Of course, there'll be a top on it too. Squirt foam helps hold things in place. And most of that will be cut off. It's all, this is all just temporary. So we've got the box basically built, put together with foam board and squirt foam. We use the squirt foam to glue things together. You have breaks in it. And then it's very easy to just cut off the extra squirt foam. A little bit of sanding and that's smooth enough for fiberglassing. To have the deck boxes look aesthetic, I've tried to match the angle of the uh, cabin. I've also curved the panels. I've got a piece of plywood here with a spacer and it's actually screwed into the foam to bend the foam to match the curve of the hull of the of the cabin top the foam is sacrificial once it's fiberglass is in and set uh, then the whole thing will be turned upside down the fiberglass is removed the top is plywood and that will remain with it and will make a sandwich fiberglass plywood sandwich um, with stringers underneath for additional strength. Now the stringers also are cut to a curve so they give that plywood a nice curve just like the original. Another nice thing about working in foam is rounding the corners easy to make nice rounded corners and of course the fiberglass likes rounded corners it can't, it's really hard to fiberglass over a sharp corner.
We've got four layers of fiberglass all over our original styrofoam, plywood, and cardboard form. And it's all cured. Now we have to pop it off the boat. I hope this goes well. It's talking. It's making noises like it's moving. One down, one to go. Now we're going to lower the box down to the ground where I can work on it down there. Of course, there's no handles on it, so I put a C clamp on as a lifting point. All the fiberglass, the really sharp raw edges. We got to cut that off, grind it smooth, sand everything. We got to cut out all the foam on the inside. Here we go. All right, so while the foam was out, mostly, <clears throat> I left a few ridges, and those will be glass over on the inside. It'll add a lot of stiffness. I meant to add more, but I forgot. Oh well, I'll add them. Um, I've gone over with the sander, and uh, next with the uh, angle grinder. There has been much sanding. Not bad, not bad at all. The next step is to cut off the lid. So we're gonna measure it down, just the right amount, and draw a line.
Notice the reinforcing points for the hinges and over here for a locking latch. off. Next thing to do is to add a lip that comes up all the way around. It goes inside here. To do that we use lots of tape. Packing tape is very thin, which is useful. The duct tape is thicker, and I want extra space, extra thickness here to give me a little bit of space between the lid, which is upside down here, and the flange that's going to rise up from here. Deck boxes. Yeah. Custom fit to match the curves of the boat. Sloping to match the angles of the boat and the curves. With ridges to make it strong. So I used 3M4200 all around the seam. And then screws in that. Remember that flange that I made on the first step, which then the box was built onto? Well, that flange also holds all the screws and gives this 4200 lots of surface area to contact with. For a latch, I'm using the same sort of uh, locking latch that is used on a pickup truck cap, so it should stand up to the weather reasonably well and it's combination lock so we can make it secure and we put grab bars on and a footstep another footstep the box is strong enough to stand on. Now, over on the starboard side, things are a little different. Come along. Now we've got wires going up the mast. If you ever want to pull the mast out, you have to be able to disconnect those wires. Those wires come into the box. And all the connections are inside here. Plus another wire which feeds our two 
batteries for the dinghy motor. Now, you remember we talked about the windows? So here they are. We got screens, and they're all in their little nice pocket. And the windows open so we get some nice fresh ventilation and we can see to the aft, which we couldn't before. Deck boxes. <laughs>